Hello and welcome back. In our previous video, we have discussed about the four essential rules of 21st century learning, and we also have discussed about introductions should be student centered, where we also discussed how we can make announcement in Putra Plus and where what are the criteria and what are the information you should put in your announcement. Then we also mentions about how you should create a platform to allow the students to put in the information that they found, which can be shared by all the students. And most importantly, to include a timeline of the project so the students do not miss the deadline. Today, what we are going to discuss will be the rules number two and rules number three, which is collaborations and contextual learning. Let's begin. Rules number two, collaborations. <clears throat> As mentioned earlier, that the students will be given a topic where they have chosen the topic they are interested in. And first thing what they need to do is to fulfill the first um, task that is creating a mind map for the selected topic. I find it very useful for the students to create a mind map so that they know exactly what they are looking for. And by giving them the information that they need during the in, um, introductions, the student will know exactly, for example, the pathogens. They, need, they know that they need to search for epidemiology. They need to know how that's the pathogen causes the infections, what are the treatments, what are the symptoms, and so on and so forth. By having all those informations, they will then be incorporated into their mind map where they can brainstorm with among their students to come up with what are the other information that is needed to be put in to the topic that they have selected. <clears throat> Apart from that, the students will also create uh, their own individual groups Padlet, as such as in this case where the herpes simplex virus uh, have created their own group. On the next slide, what you see is other pla other um, padlet that created by other groups. For example, for the rest of the um, STDs groups. Here, they allow uh, the platform allowed the student to share all the informations where the students can work collaboratively to achieve the goal of the topic or the assignment that being assigned to them. <clears throat> that fulfill our second, the STDs, where the S stand for the share. From here, then we move on to rules number three, contextual learning, where here, after the students collected all the information that they needed, now they transform the information into what you requested them to do. In this case, we have requested the student to write a scientific writing or scientific report in this case. So the student learn how to write scientifically of what the information or all the information they have collected into a scientific review. <clears throat> the students have once the student has finished, they can then submit this uh, scientific writing to the platform or the padlet that you have created and the lecturers uh, can download the scientific report and start marking them and make a comment. It can be feedback to the students immediately or you can feedback to the students during their second task. Here, we have asked the student to prepare a second task which is transform their scientific writing into a poster presentations. So we have these poster presentations during the semesters that we invite other lecturers from different departments to come to assess our students. And students will have to present what they understand about disease to the lecturer. And once they have done that, we also requested the students to transform their scientific poster into a layman poster. The whole idea of doing this layman poster is so that they can bring this poster to the school or to the society out there who are not um, a science, who do not have science background. 
the layman poster might not necessarily be a poster it can be you know a powerpoint presentations or whatever that they feel comfortable with <clears throat> right that's all thank you